WTFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. This is Jacob Shoup filling in for Tom O'Brien. This is the 4 p.m. stock market update. Let's see where we ended today. Well, right smack at 5,300. I think Basil will probably have something to say about that tomorrow at 10 because he loves those round number closes. Uh, of course, a little bit lower than when we uh, and where we opened, and that try to that break right back up there didn't have enough volume uh, either. So we might be going down, but let's see what we have going on tomorrow. Uh, the Russell futures off about port for nine percent. Uh, the NQs up about 0.31 percent, and those Dow futures uh, off about 0.33 as well. Uh, the gold contracts up about 0.9 ooh 0.95 percent. Very nice for the day. Kind of a sideways day. Um, let's see where Barrick closed, because we were talking about that a little bit earlier in uh, the YouTube. I don't know what the heck that is. Let me just get... Year to date. Why are we doing this? Because I'm on a year to date, that's why. Okay. 1742. I guess pretty stagnant for quite a long time. Let's hope we get a pop-up uh, in Barrick as well. Tesla off about 1%. Uh, Steel Dynamics not doing anything again. And then that dollar, again, pushing a little bit lower, trying to drive back down through that 104 level into the 103s. Uh, let's hope that's the case uh, because we might be in a good spot um, with the markets and metals if that's the case. So let's talk a little bit about Ethereum uh, on the show. If you missed it, you know, check it out. It's a good time. I enjoyed doing it. And uh, we were talking about how if you're going to buy crypto, put that thing into cold storage if you're not going to do anything with it. Japan's DMM, which is a massive cryptocurrency exchange, lost about 300 million over an unauthorized leak, uh, which is massive. Again, these things uh, are not perfect. Okay, one of the most famous examples we had recently uh, was these two brothers from MIT, and they, they somehow, during the moment of transaction, uh, were able to lift a ton of Ethereum um, you know, off the chain, uh, which is which is not a good thing. There's not a lot of information on how they did it, um, which is a little bit sketchy in the sense that that exploit, uh, you know, may be kind of prominent. Uh, but you do have things like MEV boosts, um, which is super interesting to talk about. If I fill in tomorrow, that's something we can definitely talk some more about that. Folks, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a great rest of your day. We'll be back tomorrow at 9 a.m. with the Morning Market Kickoff. Then we have Basil, I believe Steve, Larry, and then Tom O'Brien at 3 p.m. Folks, have a great rest of your day.